Hello and welcome back to Vicmes TV. My name is Victor, your anchor man. Following the episode on the fall of man, his decision, we shall in today's episode examine the fall of man and his redemption. After the fall of man through disobedience to God, man deservedly was served his punishment, death. For in the day that you eat of it, you will surely die. Genesis chapter 1 verse number 17b For the wages of sin is death. Romans 6 verse number 23a This death, as we already pointed out in episode 2, the fall of man, his decision, was not a physical death. We know Adam and Eve did not die physically after they sinned against God. They lived on afterwards. The death referred to in that passage was a spiritual death. A total disconnection of heavenly fellowship between the spirit of man and the spirit of God. It is not understood to be without the faculties of intellect, affection or will. The mind, emotions and will of man still function, but they are cut off from the source and fountain of spiritual life and light, which is God. This will mean that man will no longer eat from the tree of life and live forever as it was intended by God from the beginning. According to Genesis chapter 3 verse number 22b. You see, God in his original plan wanted man to rule and reign with him forever, have dominion over the earth and of over all created things and therefore breathed into him his breath of life. However, all this changed when man, through disobedience, took a different path than that ordained for him by God. And for the first time, man realized his nakedness and experienced shame. As a result, God, having covered man, Adam and Eve, in Genesis chapter 3, verse number 21, banished them from the Garden of Eden and placed the cherubim and the flaming sword flashing back and forth as the guard of the garden to ensure that they were never able to return. Ever since, humanity has encountered pain, suffering and toil in every aspect of their lives, from the struggle of providing for a family and finding a home to experiencing pain in childbirth. However, God did not give up on man having eternal life as he already envisaged it. He made a way by which humans could find a pardon for sin by providing atonement through the redemptive blood of Jesus Christ. Ephesians 1 verse number 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. By this awesome work of grace, provided by the blood of Jesus, man was offered a second chance to have an eternal life. For the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse number 23b For by man, Adam, sin and death entered the world, and we all died. Through a man also, Jesus Christ, the redemption of the dead came, and we can again live eternally. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse number 21 so, in order to benefit from this provision, that is redemption by the word of the blood of Jesus Christ, there must be acknowledgement, confession, and forgiveness of sin. For if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 verse number 9 Then we will become a new creation, and the old will pass away. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse number 17 And I do pray that we shall avail ourselves of this awesome work of grace by forsaking our sinful ways and giving our lives back to Christ if we haven't yet done so. And as Isaiah 55 verse number 7 encourages, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly Pardon. Let this grace be yours today. Amen. To meet again, remain blessed and safe in Christ Jesus. Amen. And thank you so much for your precious time to watch this episode. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and turn on your notification bell for more interesting videos from Vigmas TV.
sure you are permitted to share our videos. Bye for now.